It's time for the 1430 Connection on 1430 WNAV and 99.9 FM. Spotlighting news, newsmakers, and important community issues. Now, with this week's edition of the 1430 Connection, here is WNAV news anchor Donna Cole. Welcome to the 1430 Connection. I'm Donna Cole. In the studio with me today is Anne Arundel County Police Department Hispanic Liaison Corporal Jose Cruz Miranda and the Anne Arundel County Police Department LGBTQ Liaison Corporal Robert Koch. Thank you both for joining me very much. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. So the reason you're here is because we want to get to know the two of you and the history of your jobs aren't extensive with the county. Corporal Cruz Miranda, yours was announced in September, I believe, 2019. Yeah, that's correct. And Corporal Koch, yours uh, was announced in April 2019, yeah? Correct. Uh, Did both of you have anything to do with this? Were you charging the way for these liaison positions to be created or was it because other police departments had them? I personally believe that it had to do most likely because of other departments and but I also believe that the uh, chief of police to Baltimore for the Anne Arundel County Police Department uh, wanted something different he wanted to actually uh, create a better communication with the Hispanic community and he saw this as an opportunity and Corporal Koch would you say the same uh, about the same. Um, my position was uh, brought on by some interest from the community, mm-hmm. um, specifically the Annapolis Pride organization contacted our chief uh, and asked about uh, creating the position within the department and reached out to the agency to see who might be interested, and that's how it got started. So you are both representatives of obviously the police department but these communities in which you're now serving corporal Koch you are a member of the lgbtq community that's correct and corporal cruz miranda you are a member of the hispanic community that is correct and where are you from originally sir i'm actually originally from puerto rico um i lived in puerto rico i was pretty much born and raised over there until the age of uh 14 and a half and after that i came to new york and i lived in new york for uh, until, I, I say, 1987, uh, with about three years that I joined the military, and I was uh, pretty much stationed in Germany ah. for that part. Army? Air Force? Army. Oh, thank you for your service. And Corporal Koch, you um, grew up where? Uh, I grew up just over the Bay Bridge on Kent Island. I uh, lived there my pr- pretty much my entire life up until this past year. My husband and I moved out a little bit further east in Queen Anne's County. Oh, good for you. Um, you know the experience, I'm guessing, of growing Growing up, uh, feeling like you're in a marginalized community, feeling like you didn't fit in. Uh, y- yes, you know, growing up over the bridge, uh, it's a little bit more rural, so things are. You, you can feel a little bit more isolated. You're not around as many uh, social uh, groups and things that are available in the larger cities, uh, so you don't have quite as many places to look out for. Um, advice and support Um, you just got to hope to have those family ties and those good friends to talk to so and does that lend well to you being able to help others that are growing up feeling Mm -hmm. like they don't fit in now I certainly hope so it seems to be helping so far when I talk to younger kids and try to help them realize that things are gonna uh, things can turn out well for them and do you talk to kids often in your capacity as? Uh, I, as, as often as I can when I go to some uh, different support groups. I've attended the PFLAG uh, meetings out in, in, that, in Annapolis. Uh, also a couple different uh, school groups uh, within some different schools in the county. Mm-hmm. Corporal Cruz Miranda, your your background is very much in part and parcel with the immigrant experience. You've come from another country, which wasn't probably easy for your parents. You have made your way up through the military and now the Anne Arundel County Police Department. You know what it's like to start all over many times over, right? Yeah, that, that is correct, actually. Um, there was uh, different reasons, you know, that we came to uh, to New York. And uh, obviously when we just traveled with my mom, there was eight of us. And it was uh, very difficult because when we got to New York, we definitely, the only thing we had was family. We did not have anything. And we had to pretty much work our way up from nothing to pretty much, thank God, to where we are today. How did your mom do that? So my mom basically uh, worked different types of jobs. She also received assistance, and uh, that's how pretty much uh, she uh, 
was able to bring us up and uh, just help us out to uh, to the times. So when people come to you for assistance and with help, feeling safe and trying to make a life for themselves here here in the United States and here in Anne Arundel County, you get it. I sure do. Uh, basically, uh, if you put yourself in a position where you want to excel, where you want to uh, live uh, a life that is productive, that is uh, uh, well rewarded and stuff like that, you definitely can do it here in the United States. There's no other place that you can do or that you have the opportunity to do what you can to make a successful life. That put, here in the United States, uh, uh, education, if you follow, uh, I'll say the education system is the best. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say that is because when I first came to uh, New York, uh, I went to uh, Halsey Junior High School. It was a very troubled high school. But I also had good teachers in that school where and if you put your mind to it and they were there to help you, they actually did help you. Not only to the point where um, you excel there, but once I f actually finished uh, the junior high school, they actually sent me to a better school in Astoria, New York, because I was one of those students that they f felt that was going to achieve. Basically, that I was there to learn not to fall into the uh, trap of uh, right. ending up in the wrong place. They the noticed time. you. Yes, they did. Did you feel noticed at your school, Corporal Couch? As an L like an LGBT yeah. member. Or, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, when as I grew up, uh, luckily I didn't necessarily deal with it quite as much as I feel some uh, kids do. Um, some sometimes people are a little bit more. Um, <sighs> Bully. Bullied, right. Yeah. And people didn't really come after me as much as some other kids, so I was lucky in that regard. Okay. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back on the 1430 Connection. Welcome back to the 1430 Connection. I'm Donna Cole. In the studio with me is Anne Arundel County Police Department's LGBTQ liaison, Corporal Robert Koch, and the Anne Arundel County Police Department's Hispanic liaison, Corporal Jose Cruz Miranda. Uh, Corporal Koch, the, as the LGBTQ liaison, tell me what your job is to do in the community and what you've been doing since this position was announced in April 2019. Uh, so my job is to be a representative of the department that people can uh, feel comfortable reaching out to. Um, not that they can't reach out to any officer, but they can reach out to me knowing that they have maybe a little bit more understanding of the what it is to be LGBT um, and just have that understanding in, in what they're going through and uh, connect them with some additional resources that um, they might not receive otherwise. And it's to make sure that they realize that you know we're here to help and support all the community members, not just certain groups. Right. Um, so far, uh, since I was given this position back in April, I've been just uh, trying to reach out and make connections with different community organizations and school groups and um, other departments throughout the area to uh, just learn kind of what they're doing. I've also been seeking some uh, additional training to further what I'm trying to offer. Um, and I've also taken uh, the recruitment training so that I can help with, you know, trying to even recruit additional LGBT officers, I mean, as well as anybody else, right. but um, for them to know that they can ask me questions about becoming police officers or anything like that. Well, that, that actually, that's an interesting, uh, and are you doing the recruiting also? I sure So do. does that mean you guys will both take a trip to John Jay College in New York? Well, we haven't, I haven't taken a trip to uh, John Jay College, but I have been to many other colleges with the uh, recruiting division mm -hmm. uh, to actually um, try to make the Hispanic community feel safe to actually approach yeah. and to be part of the department if they so want right and have you done any of the recruiting trips yet uh, i haven't been able to attend any trips quite yet but okay. i've but gotten the training and i'm ready to go when when those opportunities arise is a big part of your job not just 
making the LGBTQ community more uh, comfortable in approaching police officers and making police officers more understanding of what the LGBTQ community goes through, but also educating maybe the kids that aren't LGBTQ. That is something I, I, I'm trying to figure out how to to reach out to um you know the, the the school system and everything when you try to reach the children in mass um it, it can be a little bit tricky because you have to get through what the school's guidelines are and everything like that so i have been in communication with uh, uh different people at with the county public schools and that is something i want to try to address is is really not even just with kids but the general public of you know there needs to be more education about the lgbt community and not so much um you know mystery uh, people just they everybody gets their own kind of understanding as they grow up um you know usually from their parents or whatever they grew up around and, and it may not, not be all, right. right it's not yeah. going to be right and you know they just have their opinions and don't really realize what people go through trying to fit in education is important it is so if the schools people from the schools are listening reach out to you because you would like the opportunity to talk to kids in mass or even adults in mass right absolutely uh, that and that's that's a big point uh, that I'm glad you made because we want to reach out to um, the parents I've heard that specifically from parents of LGBT kids at uh, meetings that you know nobody's really trying to reach out and educate the adults in the community to with, help yeah. right and they're the ones that teach their children yeah. so good point um <clears throat> we're going to take another short break we'll be right back and we'll hear more about corporal cruz miranda's part of his job this is donna cole on the 1430 connection we'll be right back Welcome back to the 1430 Connection. I'm Donna Cole. In the studio with me today is Corporal Robert Koch. He's the Anne Arundel County Police Department's LGBTQ liaison and Corporal Jose Cruz Miranda. He's the Anne Arundel County Police Department's Hispanic liaison. Corporal Cruz Miranda, your job in this climate right now can't be easy. Uh, it's not. Uh, my job basically is to actually create a bridge between the police department and the Hispanic community. And the one of the main issues is uh, creating a trust, building that trust between the police department and the Hispanic community. Um, as we all know, the Hispanic community uh, or the police departments in the different countries, you know, South Central America and stuff like that, um, it's not like the police departments uh, here in the United States. Uh, so we have the issue where uh, in a lot of these countries, there is really no accountability mm -hmm. for the police department, like we have accountability here in the United States. So my job is basically to create that bridge and to bring to the Hispanic community how the police department can actually serve them, uh, how the, the how they can actually in turn serve the police department and know that for us to function, we have to have the trust of the community. Police department by itself cannot function. We are part of the community and for us to make the community safer, we have to have that trust in between us. A lot of times people left their countries because because of the, the, they weren't having a great life in those countries. That is correct. In a lot of these countries, there was crime and there was gangs and there was other things. And Absolutely. on top of that, there was there were police that weren't doing their job. Exactly. That were the exact opposite. That, yes, that's correct. They've come to this country looking for a better life. In some communities, even right here in Anne Arundel County, we've had the same gang issues, and people are scared to talk to the police. Correct. In order to make these communities not like those, the ones they left, they need to talk to the police. Is that's correct. That's, that's exactly what we're looking for. You have to reach out to us. You have to come and let us know what is the problems in your community so that we can start building and solving those problems in your community. If we don't know that it's happening and it's going undetected, well, obviously there isn't much that we can do. But with us, with the police department, this is what we're in charge of. The Anne County, County Police Department is 
in charge of making sure that crimes, that people do not fall victims of crimes, but that if they are, if they do become victims of crimes, that they come to us, reach out to us, trust us to help them. Because uh, right now, the issue is that they have immigration issues, they have stuff like that, and that's that's not our job. You don't our, talk to anybody in the federal government if somebody comes. You don't, absolutely you not. You don't even our, ask people we, about we that. Don't, when you come to us with a problem, with a crime, with your concerns, our job is to address that concern. Our job is not to address what your immigration status. That's for the federal government to do. That's not for us. Can so, you... I'm sorry, can you repeat this in Spanish? Sí, seguro. Eh, yo lo que quiero decir es que aquí, como este, el, el Departamento de Policía del Condado de Anne Arundel, lo que estamos buscando es este, tener y cerrar, y poner una, una mejor comunicación con la comunidad hispana. Obviamente, la comunidad hispana tiene que entender que el Departamento de Policía está solamente para bregar con los crímenes y que su este, situación inmigratoria no es parte de lo que nosotros este, eh, trabajamos. Nuestro trabajo es asegurarnos de que usted no sea víctima de crímenes y que si es una víctima de un crimen, tenga la confianza de venir a la policía, reportar estos crímenes y así nosotros poder resolver el problema que usted en ese momento pueda tener. Gracias. The, we know gangs exist here. We know gang violence has existed here. Exacto. It's, yes. It is um, spreading out to all areas of the county. It was bad in Annapolis. It Correct. still does exist in the Annapolis area, but it's spreading out to all different areas of the county, including South Anne Arundel County. You want people to let you know. Exactly. We, no matter how hard it is for people to understand, can you provide protection for people? Well, actually, uh, yes, there is. Uh, if you have, uh, if, if you are a victim of a crime or you have information about certain crimes and stuff like that, there is uh, ways that the Anne County Police Department and together with the federal government can actually issue certain protections if you are a victim or you have information about a crime. And if people are concerned about their kids falling into these gangs, should they be contacting you? Yes, I will definitely ask them to call me because we have... What's, there, you, what's your number? So my number is 410-222-0786, okay? And that'll go to my office and it will go to my email and we will definitely, at wherever I am, I can get that information. Corporal Koch, which, what is your number? Uh, my number is 443 six eight five four zero six one they can reach out to me for with any concerns within the lgbt community there is a case that still hasn't been solved about uh javier rodriguez and david rivera uh the boys disappeared in 2015 and 2017 there's a there's a reward in that case for information yes i actually uh that is a ten thousand dollar uh reward uh, we do believe that there is information out there that people have, and we will hope that they will trust to come to us with that information that they have so that we can solve this missing persons. We are definitely... Can bring some answers to the families. Exactly. I just want the community to know that it is the goal of the uh, Anne Arundel County Police Department to reach out to all communities, uh, whether you are, it, regardless of, as long as you are a person that is either traveling or live here in Anne Arundel County, we want you to trust the Anne Arundel County Police Department to do right by you because that's what we are hired to do and that's what we want to do. We are one community, right? Absolutely. I think you, you summed it up pretty well there. It's uh, We're all in this together and we can't live in a society together if they're not willing to uh, reach out and communicate. Uh, thank you both for doing the job that you do and for joining me today. You're welcome. Thank you for having You're us. You're welcome and thank you for having us. To follow the Twitter account for the Anne Arundel County Police Department's Hispanic Liaison, it is AAC. OPD Latino OFC and for the Anne Arundel County LGBTQ liaison it's AAC OPD underscore LGBTQ this is Donna Cole on the 1430 connection we'll see you next week